Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with a new Dollar Tree DIY and all of the crafts in this video are going to be dedicated to 4th of July. They're really fun to recreate, super vibrant, and they will definitely add a lot of flair to your 4th of July celebration. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below and be sure to turn on that notification bell. For the first DIY, I'm going to start off with two of these galvanized metal pickup trucks that I found in the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has had these for quite some time in the Crafter Square and I wasn't really sure what to do with them, but I finally found a really fun DIY for these guys. So I'm also going to be using one of these foam floral blocks from the floral section at the Dollar Tree. So I just cut one of them in half to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to be adding it to one of my trucks with some hot glue. Then I'm just gonna put some more hot glue on top and then add my second truck. That way this truck can stand up all on its own and it kind of gives it a bit of a 3D look. So now that we have the base of it already done, we want to decorate it. So I have some options here. I found these window clings at the Dollar Tree and you guys might know that I love to use window clings to decorate items. You get so many beautiful images for $1.25 so you really can't beat it. And I found that they stick to the metal really, really nicely. All I had to do was just take a paper towel with some water and just rub it onto the metal and the window clings attached really easily. You also could just add a little bit of Mod Podge to the back of the window cling if you wanted to have a really secure permanent hold, but the water worked really great as well. For the first side of the truck, I just kept it pretty simple here, but I did want to show you another option. So the window cling that looks like a pickup truck here, it's not a perfect fit, but you can trim it down and it will fit pretty well. So I did just start off by removing the flag because it just didn't really fit on top there. And then I also did cut the truck in two. It was a little bit too long for the metal sign. So I found that if you kind of just overlap it a little bit, it does kind of fit pretty well and for the last step I'm just gonna add these three mini flags into the back of the truck so that's why we added that foam floral block so we can just add them to the back here these ones are on the larger side if you can find the really mini flags that might work a little bit better but in the end I think that these ones worked great as well and I also wanted to show you another option Dollar Tree also does have this rear view of the pickup truck and if you wanted to just keep it a little bit more simple, you can just decorate one of these and use it as a hanging sign. I thought that this one worked really well with the Celebrate Independence Day window cling, and then I thought it would be fun just to add some fireworks to the back window. And if you just use some water to attach these, you can kind of just change them out seasonally. And here is a closer look at how everything turned out. I think that these are so much fun. I love the galvanized metal look. And with just adding some window clings, it's a super quick way to just make a really fun and festive decoration. I'm so excited for this next DIY. So I'm starting off with two pool noodles from the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed one of the red pool noodles as well as a blue pool noodle. And we are going to be making some 4th of July fireworks. These are so fun. So to start off with, I want to just cut each pool noodle into four separate pieces and each piece is going to be slightly larger than the last. So you can see my mini one there. Then I went a little bit bigger. Each time I'm cutting it about three to four inches larger than the previous piece. And then this is going to be my largest piece. So when you're all done, you should have four pieces of your pool noodle starting with the smallest and then going to the largest. Next, I'm going to organize them into two separate groups. So I want each group to have one of each size, but I want the colors to alternate. So it kind of makes more sense when you see it as opposed to me just explaining it. So this is my first set here. I'm gonna work with these four pool noodles and I wanna kind of group them together. I wanted the red, white, and blue colors, but since Dollar Tree did not have a white pool noodle, I figured that I could just use this white ribbon that I picked up at Dollar Tree to incorporate all the colors together. I'm gonna to be using that ribbon just to make a nice big bow around the front and then I'm kind of just fluffing it up a little bit. So here is the start of our fireworks but it wouldn't be fireworks without some beautiful sparklers coming out of the top. So to achieve that look, I'm actually going to be using some garland that I found from the Dollar Tree. So here it is. They have all of the colors I was looking for and it's really fun. 
All you have to do is just trim it down into some smaller pieces. I did use wire cutters for this because it was easy, but you might be able to just use scissors. And then after I had them all cut into short pieces, I just stuck them into the foam around that circle there. Once you kind of push them down into the foam about an inch or so, they stay put really nicely. And then after I had them in place, I just kind of twisted them a little bit to give them a really nice look. This is how it looked after I had all of my sparklers up top and then I wanted just to add one more touch so I found these glitter foam stars at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be hot gluing them all around my fireworks just to kind of give it an extra pop of color and just some really fun glitter flare. And then I repeated those same steps for my other four pool noodles that way I had two for a matching set. And here is how they turned out when they were all done. These are so fun. These would look great outside for a 4th of July barbecue or maybe around the pool or even indoors. I just love this DIY. This next DIY, I'm going to be remaking this decor item from the Dollar Tree. So I want to switch out the photo here and I actually created a free printable for you guys. So I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box for my blog. So when you click that link below, it's going to bring you right here. You want to just scroll down past the images towards the bottom and you're going to see an area that says free printables. All you have to do is just click on the pink text and it will pull up all of the free printables. So here they are. There's six different ones to choose from. So three different pages. There's two on each page. So you can print out all of them or whichever page you like. And if you can't find this exact item from the Dollar Tree, these free printables are all sized to be 4x4. So they will work in any 4x4 craft idea you have or any 4x4 frame. Once you pick one, you can just print it out. And I do like to print these out on cardstock so it's nice and sturdy. So I'm going to go with the one that says America. And when you want to cut it out, you will see that there is a very faint gray line. And all you have to do is just cut along that gray line. And that is sized at 4x4. Four four. To attach it to my wood block, I'm actually just going to be using some hot glue. Since it is printed on that cardstock, it's pretty sturdy as is and it does cover up that image without peeking through. And here is a closer look on how it turned out. Be a great DIY if you're looking for some fun 4th of July items for a tiered tray. DIY is super fun and definitely one that kids would love. So I'm going to be starting off with some popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree as well as some paint that I found in their crafter square. I picked up some red and blue acrylic paint and some of these foam brushes. They make the painting process so easy. I'm also going to be using three paper towel rolls. You don't necessarily need these, but they do make this DIY a little easier. So I need six of them, so I just cut them right in half. And then next, I have some cardstock paper. Each piece of paper can cover up two rolls, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut those all down to size first. So I have six pieces of paper here, and I just wanted to make sure that they would definitely cover the entire roll. Now that I know that they will, I'm just going to go ahead and set those cardboard rolls to the side for a minute it because I want to paint my paper. So this is why you definitely want to be using cardstock for this. That way it doesn't warp too much when you paint it. We are creating some patriotic popsicles. So that's why I just went ahead and painted the top portion red. I'm going to leave the middle white and then finally finish it off with a blue strip on the bottom. These do not have to be perfect by any means. I kind of think that they look more fun when the lines are not too crisp. It just looks more homemade. So now that they are all dry, I'm just going to be using some tape to attach it to my paper towel roll. And I'm going to show you real quick that you really don't need it if you don't want to take that extra step or if you don't have any extra paper towel rolls. You can just tape it to itself. It is cardstock, so it's pretty sturdy as is, but the paper towel roll does kind of just help give it a little bit more structure. So now that I have all six taped up, I'm going to grab my popsicle sticks and I'm just going to be attaching these to the inside with some tape. You could also just use some hot glue for this. Now, since I want this to be a banner, I'm just going to get a hole punch and I just want to make sure that I am doing it on either side of that popsicle stick. So it's nice and even when I string it onto my twine. And once I added my holes, I just took a nice long piece of twine that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just inserted them into the holes. And here is a closer look at the final result. As a kid, it definitely wasn't summer until I had one of those patriotic ice pops. So this DIY definitely brings back so many memories.
For this last DIY, I'm going to be using these two 12 inch pieces of wood that I found in the crafter square at the Dollar Tree. For this DIY, I do have to cut these down to size, so the first thing I have to do is measure them. So for the first piece of wood, I just marked it out at the 5 inch mark because I want a 5 inch section as well as a 7 inch section. And then for my second one, I needed it to be 9 inches, so I just went ahead and marked it and that bottom piece there is just going to be a scrap piece that we do not need. So here is everything all cut out. And I'm going to be grabbing those same colors that I used before that I found in the crafter square at the Dollar Tree. But I am also going to be using my favorite white chalk paint. So this one's from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. You guys know I absolutely love this one. It lasts forever. So I'm going to be using this for my white paint today. But I'm also going to be mixing it into the red and blue just to kind of lighten up the color a little bit and give it that really nice appearance that chalk paint has. So the first thing I did was just paint my middle piece all white and then for my largest piece I did mix some of that blue with the white chalk paint and then I mixed some white chalk paint with red for my final piece. Chalk paint is so nice and thick that I only needed one coat, which was great. So now I just wanna go ahead and attach these together. So I'm just using some hot glue and I kinda of wanna stagger them a little bit. So this is going to be some 4th of July fireworks. So first I added my white piece and then I just added my red piece right to the front. And then the next thing I did was grab some of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I cut three small pieces. So I'm just going to hot glue those on top and that is meant to be the wick of the firecracker. This DIY is so fun, quick and easy, but you can definitely dress it up a little bit more if you want to. So some options are some ribbon from Dollar Tree. So this is the one that I used before. You can wrap these around the front. I think that would look really, really cute or even use some of this patriotic garland. That would also be super fun. I'm just gonna leave mine just like this, but I thought it would also be a fun idea to cut these even smaller and use it in a tiered tray if you were looking for some fun little mini DIYs. And those are all of the Dollar Tree DIYs that I have for you guys today. This video was honestly so much fun to create. I had the best time coming up with these crafts. They're just so colorful and vibrant and they definitely got me in the mood for summer. Let me know in the comments below if you guys recreate any of these and I'm wishing everyone a wonderful 4th of July. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video for some more crafting fun.